Thank you, Sam. It's a really nice introduction. So uh, I'd like to share three stories with you all tonight. Uh, one is a story about where I've come from. Uh, I'd also like to share a little bit about my journey in the last couple of years. And uh, the third is just a, a vision I have for this city and uh, something I'd like to share with you all. I'm going to get this. There we go. So uh, it, it kind of started here. I'm the cute blonde on the, the right. Um, these are my parents. They uh, were both teachers, and they decided to, to take a change in life and uh, became a little bit uh, hippie and a little bit off of the grid in the 70s. I grew up on a farm uh, without electricity. Uh, we had a well. We had kerosene lamps, uh, chickens and goats and honeybees. Uh, it was a great place to grow up as a kid. Uh, when I was in grade five, I discovered uh, the school library and they had all of these great toys in it that I hadn't been uh, exposed to. They had projectors and VCRs and they had computers and uh, I immediately fell in love with the computers. Um, I spent every recess before school, lunch, after school, uh, playing on these computers as much as I could. And uh, the librarian realized my uh, obsessive compulsive nature and, and interest here and uh, he taught me a little bit about programming uh, I just doubled down and, and went down the rabbit hole even deeper and uh, then there happened to be a computer programming contest in the school district and uh, he entered me in it and I had the amazing luck of winning one of these beautiful Apple 2C computers they cost about three thousand dollars at the time I think I was getting about 50 cents a week for allowance so <laughs> It, it was a dream come true, uh, except I had a problem, and we didn't have any electricity. <laughs> so my dad, being the great guy that he is, he took this computer to an electronics store, got them to rewire it, and uh, every day after I'd come home from school, I'd pop the hood on my mom's car, grab a couple of alligator clips, hook it onto the car battery, the wire would go into the house, I'd have a kerosene lamp beside me and I'd play on my computer. And if I played on it too long, I'd wear down the battery and my mom would get really mad at me as we had to jump start the car the next day. <laughs> so um, I, I, at some point, uh, got a little bit tired of computers. I think I discovered girls um, and, and then went into high school. I was interested in business. I started a paintball company. This is a picture from that uh, in high school. I uh, did that for a bunch of years, uh, did some business in college, and uh, started a pizza restaurant. I did that for a couple of years, 98, 99. And, uh, and then I decided it was time to move on. The internet was blowing up in a very exciting place to be. And so I decided uh, to move to Vancouver. I self-taught on the internet. Um, I worked in a dot com for a little while, and then I founded an agency called Invoke. And uh, Invoke was a hybrid services and product company. And Invoke, uh, through the years, developed a bunch of different products. And one of the products, the most recent product, was Hootsuite. And uh, that was a, it came out of the social media team that was working on services. And they needed a better tool. So we launched Hootsuite three years ago. Uh, we've recently crossed 3 million users, uh, 100 employees. Um, it's been, a, it's been a fantastic three years. We send 150 million messages a day, uh, and that reaches an effective uh, 1.7 billion eyeballs. So we feel like we have some pretty great global reach, and, and we're really looking forward to expanding this. Um, as I started, you know, we bootstrapped the company, and as we were bootstrapping it for the whole year, uh, leading up to raising some money, I was talking to a lot of VCs. And the VCs were asking me if I was going to move my company to, Van uh, to, to San Francisco, to Silicon Valley, or you know, what the plans were. And I, I came up with a bunch of reasons why I thought it was a good, um, a good plan for us to stay in Vancouver. Um, that luckily, they bought the reasons, and, and we stuck around. And I think it's been amazing for us. And so I'm going to share a couple of the reasons why uh, with you right now. So the first off is talent. Uh, <laughs> This is a picture of our team shotgunning beer when we reached a million users. It's a really 
great way to bring in a million. Uh, there are some amazingly talented people here um, from the engineering side, from the marketing side. Uh, more recently, we've been adding salespeople. There's great talent. Uh, there's great universities. And uh, we're also starting to see uh, people immigrate here uh, from other countries uh, with startup visas, et cetera. Uh, so I think that that's a, an amazing thing that we have going for us. In Silicon Valley, there's a, an amazing amount of competition for talent. Um, there's competition everywhere, but there there's also this shiny ball factor where people are always kind of looking at the next shiny ball. And so, um, you know, we've had a luxury here of being uh, one amongst a, a smaller audience, and so we've had a, a great ability to attract talent. Um, investment trends are changing a lot. We're seeing a, a decentralization of Silicon Valley. We're seeing people um, move from the, the uh, centralized area there. We're seeing incubators in, in Boston, in New York, in Austin, in Boulder, in Montreal, in Vancouver. And these incubators start up little startups. And, and so the, the decentralization is definitely happening with investment. Uh, there's a little bit of an echo chamber with uh, SF. Um, it's a matter of uh, people getting into groupthink. I often talk about our crystal cave of solitude in Vancouver, and we've had great luck uh, with that, being able to kind of think differently than the mob. Uh, great community here. Uh, this is a, a printout of our first 100 users. Uh, they were all people that I knew uh, individually, and they are the people that have seeded us from, from 100 to 3 million plus uh, through word of mouth and through social media. Proximity, we're really close to Silicon Valley. We can hop on a plane. We got WebEx if we need to do meetings. It's a great place to do business development and have meetings, but it's not far away. We've got better beer and bacon, enough said. <laughs> There's also great government support with programs like IRAP and SHRED. Uh, those programs have really helped us early on and, and helped us um, with some of the, the areas that we needed with regards to funding and, and, and getting the product off of the ground. And, and finally, uh, livability. Uh, it's a wonderful city to live, ranked top in the world. I, I did a little straw poll on Twitter and found that healthcare, family um, were top reasons why people stayed in Vancouver and did their startup out of Vancouver. So I think we have a wonderful place and uh, great to have you guys all here with me in this. So, in, in closing, uh, I just had, had a couple thoughts. Um, I've recently put out uh, to, to my team and to the, the world through the media uh, that I, my, my goal and vision is to build a billion dollar company um, that revolution, revolutionizes social media. And I think we can do this headquartered in Vancouver. I think we have all the, the right ingredients. And I think that Vancouver is perfectly poised uh, to be a global leader in technology. I think this is where the future is at. And I think that we are perfectly positioned for this. And so I'd like to invite all the smart minds in the audience tonight to help share and shape this vision. Um, I'd love, you know, through investment, through education, or through your vote, just to do what you can and, and to keep this uh, in your mind as you uh, move through your days ahead. Thank you. Thank you.